African child, your Redeemer lives. African child, your Redeemer lives. Are you crying out like Job? Is your heart crying out or are you just singing a song? African child is crying out. I know. Tear your heart and not your garment. Tear your heart and not your garment. Tear your heart and not your garment for the African child and sing. I know my Redeemer, the African child has been reduced to bones. African child has been impoverished. African child has been, has been treaded upon. African child has been reduced to sickness and diseases. African child has been reduced to poverty. African child has been committed to death. But African child refused to die. I know, I know my Redeemer lives. The soul of the African child is crying out. The blood of the African child is crying out. The African child is crying out. If you want to understand the plight of the African child, go and read the book of Job. Go and read the book of Job. If you want to understand the plight of the African child, he was rich, but was plundered. But God kept him alive. And God will elevate him again. Amen. And prosper him again. Amen. More than before. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The tears of the African child. Is flowing like blood. And the maker of the African child is a consuming fire. Is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Amen. And he has risen. Amen. Glory to El Shaddai. Amen. He has risen. Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. The days of Elijah. Amen. We shall come for fire and fire answers us. Amen. And we have seen it happen. Amen. And the African child, your time has come. Amen. Your maker is risen. Here, And those who plundered your wealth, O oh African child, they shall be plundered. Amen. And time, the time is now. In the name of Yeshua. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I saw, I had her cry. And I saw his tears. The African child. Praise the name of Yeshua. You see, the African child in the diaspora, in Europe, in America, they are crying out of racism. They go to Africa itself, the motherland, and then you tell me, <laughs> and then you will see the plight of the African child. In the diaspora in Europe, you have electricity 24-7. In America, you have electricity 24-7. In Africa, they don't even... Uh, <laughs> but the Lord is calling to the African leaders that has, that has siphoned and shit the wealth of the African child. He's calling upon them to return it with speed. Or they will start to die of life like Herod in the days of Christ Jesus. They may say these are mere words. But when they see one king gone mysteriously, 
the rest will learn a lesson that God is a consuming fire. Let the leaders in Nigeria here, in Ghana here, in Zimbabwe here, yes. Mozambique here, yes. South Africa here, yes. Zambia here, yes. <laughs> North Africa here, <coughs> South Africa here, yes. West Africa, yes. hear you the word of the living God. Yes. Return the wealth of the African child yes. to the African child. Or else you will not live. And those after you, you think you will leave the wealth for them, they will not live to enjoy it. Yes. And still, the wealth of the African child must be returned to the African child. Yes. The wisest thing for you to do is to do it now and do it fast. Yes. Well, your time is up. Praise the name of the living God. In the days of Moses, Moses said to Pharaoh, Pharaoh said, I'm God. Moses said, no, <laughs> you treat your people like you are God. But I've come to show you there is God in heaven that rules in the affairs of man. Let my people go. And Pharaoh, 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 Pharaoh of our generation hardened his heart, not knowing God was playing games with him. And when the African child was living, they left not empty-handed. They plundered Egypt. African child for African land. The people of God. Let me tell you again, leaders of Africa, political leaders especially, all ye political leaders and people of influence, that has shipped, that has siphoned and stolen the, Af the wealth of the African child, and you have shipped it to foreign lands, and African child is being enslaved in those foreign lands. Now is the time for you with speed to return the wealth of the African child to the African child, or else, you will see there is God in heaven that rules in the affairs of man and he has been patient with you and your time is up. Now is the time of judgment in the name of Yeshua. Amen. You cannot escape unless you release, unless you move with speed, unless you see the tears of the African child and your heart melts with compassion, and you decide to return the plunder and use it for the good of the African child. If you do that, you will be forgiven. Haramashanda. If you forbear, you will be struck down. If you forbear, the lightning of the Lord will visit you in your innermost chamber. There is no hiding place for you. Glory to El Shaddai. Amen. We've come not to beg, we've come to command. Return the wealth of the African child. For his maker is a consuming fire. Arise, O Lord, let our enemies be scattered. Arise, O Lord, let the enemies be scattered. Arise, O Lord, let the enemies be scattered. O Lord, my God, arise. That's the cry of the African child. Rise, O Lord. Let the enemies be scattered. Arise, the Lord. Let the enemies be scattered. Arise, my Lord. Let the enemies be scattered. Oh Lord, my God. 
I'll run through this book of Isaiah 43 and 44. I put it in the text I sent out. You can as well in your own time read through it, meditate on it, and watch out because this is what the Lord is doing concerning the African child. Isaiah 43, Isaiah 44, praise the name of Yeshua. But now, from verse 1, this is what the Lord says, you see? This is what Yahweh says. The maker of the African child. This is what the Lord says. He who created you, Jacob, that's the African child. He who formed you, Israel, that's the African child. This is what he said. Do not fear. For I have redeemed you. Hallelujah. Amen. The African child is redeemed. Amen. Like we say that Joseph had a dream. <laughs> Something happened in the heavens. And God showed him what happened in the heavens. What has already been established. But over time, praise the Lord. Amen. And when the Bible says, when the time was fulfilled. Jacob, Joseph was lifted out of prison <laughs> and he was crowned leader in a foreign land. It didn't start that day. The day it happened, God opened his eyes. And this day, God opened our eyes to see the tears, the cry of the African child. That means it has touched the heart of God. Hallelujah. And he's saying, I have redeemed you. The Bible says, And the Lord remembered Hannah, and she conceived. And the Lord remembered Abraham and Sarah, and they conceived. And the Lord remembered Noah, and he sent his east wind, and he blew away the waters, and the sheep, the, the ark, rested, and they were able to come and, and repopulate the earth again. The Lord has remembered the African child. And he said, I have redeemed you. Praise the Lord. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by your name. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. Glory to El Shaddai. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I have summoned you by name. The African child, the Lord said, you belong to him. When you pass through the waters, <coughs> I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not swallow, they will not sweep over you. African child will return and possess their position. And inherit their inheritance in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. Hallelujah. Amen. The flames will not set you ablaze, Amen. says Yahweh, the living God. Amen. Verse 3 For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt for your ransom, Kosh and Seba in your stead. Since you are precious and honored in my sight, O African child, and because I love you, hallelujah, I will give people in exchange for you and nations in exchange for your life. <laughs> that means those who plundered you African child, you will live, and if they don't return the plunder, they will die. Amen. They will give way. Whether they are lead African leaders, but it's starting with African leaders, and then it's going to nations. You watch and see that El Shaddai is with us, and his words shall not return void. You leader, you, you, 
You leader, it has to start, start with you. And I see you, you leader, you leader, you leader, you leader, you leader. I don't know who you are, but we will know who you are very soon. It won't be long. It will not be long. We will know who you are. You leader, probably God wants to use you to set an example. But we are praying that it will be for good. That you will arise and cry out. That it shall not be your denies or destruction. But if you are the one that have hardened your heart, Karima Sondo Roboshanda, you will go down. You leader, it won't be long. You leader, you won't be long. It's either you wake up now and cry out, return the wealth of the African child. Or you will be an example to others. But we shall understand what the Lord is saying in days, few days to come. In the name of Yeshua. Amen. For we have come to command Elisha knew in his heart that there was one, that like the greater ones were with him. The servant has no idea. But he said to the servant, Fear not. And that's what we see in Isaiah 43. Fear not. For greater are those and mightier are those that are with us. So even though we may look outnumbered physically, we are not outnumbered spiritually. Greater are those with us than those that are with them. So you can see the World Economic Forum, you can see the World Bank, you can see the IMF, you can see the United Nations, you can see the World Health Organizations, you can see these global elites. There is a power behind them. That you see, the one with us is greater than the one with them. Therefore, the one with them has crumbled. Amen. Their pillar is crumbled. Amen. Their strength is crumbled. Amen. Their power is crumbled. Amen. They are exposed. Amen. They must let the African child be Amen. in the name of Yeshua. Amen. And the Lord commanded, let the east let them go. Amen. And I want us to lift our voice. Let the east, west, not and south. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Let them go of the African child. Mm -hmm. The powers of the east. Mm -hmm. The powers of the west. Mm -hmm. The powers of the north. Mm -hmm. The powers of the south. Mm -hmm. Let the African child go. Mm -hmm. Let the wealth of the African child go. Mm -hmm. Now, in the name of Yeshua, wherever you are, lift your voice and command. Command with authority. Command because El Shaddai, the maker of the African child, has said so. The powers of the East, the powers of the West, the powers of the North, the powers of the South, the powers of the North, we command you now, in the name of Jesus, Yeshua Hamashiach, the God of the African child is saying, let the African child go. And all who are called by his name, in the name of Yeshua, let the African child go. We command you, we command you, we command the East and the powers of the East. We command the West and the powers of the West. We command the North and the powers of the North. We command the South and the powers of the South. Let the African child go. Let the wealth of the African child go. Go, go, go. Return to the African child. Return to the African child. Let the wealth of the African child be returned to the African child. In the mighty name of Yahweh Yeshua. Leaders of nations have asked for reparations. Is it reparations? Abbas Anjo has asked for reparations. People in America are, are, are crying out for reparations. People in the West are leaders. But let me tell you. Let me tell you one thing. <laughs> we are not asking. 
by the word of the living God in our mouth, we are commanded. And anyone who defies this, fire of God is upon their headquarters. Fire of God is upon their upon their, their hiding places. Fire of the maker of the African child, the Holy One of Israel. We strike them with blindness and with a plague. We ask not, we command you. We ask not, we command you the powers of the east. We command you the powers of the west. We command you the powers of the north. We command you the powers of the south. We command you the powers of the north. Return the African child. Return the wealth of the African child. And you will know. If you forbear like Pharaoh, you will know there is God in heaven that rules in the affairs of man, the maker of the African child, and that he is with us, and we are his chosen witnesses. They are begging them. Some African leaders are asking them and begging, return the wealth of the African child. And some African leaders have stolen and plundered the wealth of the African uh, ch child and has shipped Kabara and has shipped these wealth to foreign nations. You African leaders, Nigerian leaders, Nigeria is at the edge now, and we are speaking to Nigerian leaders, whoever you may be, if you have rigged the election, hear you now, it is in time for you to surrender. Now, if you have rigged the election, I'm not saying you read, but I'm telling you that you know what you have done. And the truth you know shall set you free. So if you know you read the election, and you love yourself and you love your descendants, Kaboni Katapra Katasanda, that's the word, if you understand what that means. Do not wait for this manifestation for you to understand. Follow the truth. Do the right. And save yourself and your generations. In the name of Yeshua Yahweh. Yes. The God of the African child. And if you have plundered Nigeria and you have stolen the wealth of Nigeria. I'm speaking specifically to Nigeria now. Uh, hurry up for the time is limited Amen. and return the wealth of the African child Amen. for you have weigh, been weighed in the balance and you've been found wanting but you will say how dare you don't wait to see that you are not hearing the voice of this person you're seeing here for Daniel was before Nebuchadnezzar and he told Nebuchadnezzar, what I'm telling you now is what the watchers have already concluded. But yet Nebuchadnezzar hardened his heart until he was torn to an animal and he remained seven periods in the wilderness, in the bush. The king of kings and the lord of lords whom you have defied and you have brought poverty, you have brought sickness and disease, sicknesses and diseases, and you have brought death and untold hardship upon the African child. And God has given you as leaders the opportunity to lead these people to still waters where they will drink and not be flushed away. 
to the green pastures where they will lie down and be refreshed. But rather than doing that, you have put yokes upon their neck and you have put heavy burdens upon their shoulders. Now it's coming back to you unless you repent with speed. In the name of Yahweh Yeshua. Isaiah 43 and Isaiah 44. And to the rest of the African child, do away with idol worship. You carved, if you read Isaiah 44, you, ca you cut down a tree. You carved it and you call it your God. What a shame. You took part of the tree and used it to cook. That part of your God, you use it to cook. Part, you put it in the fire to keep yourself warm. And the Lord said that you've been made to be blind and foolish. But now wisdom is coming to you. For those idols have not set you free. But now the maker of the African child is come to set you free. So that you will know that it's not a carved idol. Amen. And you will call him Yahweh Yeshua. Amen. You will worship him. Not through carved stones and carved uh, woods and images. If there has been power in those images, they could have done what will be happening from now. They could have done it for you. But they didn't. Now, the maker, the Holy One of Israel, hallelujah, Amen. shall show himself faithful and strong so that you will be his witnesses that him alone is God hallelujah. and there is no one else. Amen. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. Yahweh Yeshua, you are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. Yahweh Yeshua, we give you glory. We return our glory to you. African child. We give you glory and the honor. You are Yahweh. Let your name be glorified. It's flowing like a flood. Like 